Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video, and it is time to start Season 2, Episode 1 of Hot Roulette. So before we start, I just want to explain the rules, and they are very similar to last season's, but I did add in a couple new rules that I think will make this series just a little bit more exciting, as well as a little bit more riskier, because I think that was the main problem for my last series. Uh, it's just that I didn't make it risky enough for myself. It felt like I just kept building on the team, and I wasn't losing any players, but I will leave the rules in the description box below if you ever want to check them out. So this is probably the biggest rule that hasn't really changed much in Hut Roulette that I've always done. But depending on our win streak is how much we can raise the buy now minimum by. And uh, it goes up in increments of 1,000 coins each time. So imagine if we win, say, 7 games in a row, we can raise that buy now minimum up to 7,000. And what this does is, is it filters out a lot of those high or low end players, those bronze cards, those silver cards, the cards that we don't want, uh, and this gives us a lot higher chance of getting those big cards. Of course, we might get ram one time, someone might put up a bronze card for a million coins, and I might be screwed over. And I'm probably just going to explain a lot of the rules right now instead of just doing them individually, but I'm going to keep the same rule that if I win three games in a row, I can buy a premium gold jumbo pack and I can use whatever contents inside for my own liking for the team. So if I get a change team or if I get a change position, I can increase the chemistry with those packs. If I, one of my guys on my team gets a hat trick, uh, he will get an upgraded card and that is the next highest version of his card. So imagine if I got a Crosby, the Crosby I would have to buy is the 97 version and not the team of the year 99 version, right? It, it would be step by step by step increasing the card uh, as I get more goals or get more hat tricks with that player. All right, and for goalies, if they get a shutout, uh, I will add a plus 5 all to them for 3 games. And this is probably the biggest rule that I'm going to add in right now. If I lose a game, I have to get rid randomly uh, of players on my team depending on how many goals I lose by. So imagine if I lost, say, 2 nothing, then I would have to get rid of 2 players on the team uh, from random, just choosing randomly. So on the screen right now, I should be showing you guys a little bit of a picture of how it will look like. But I have every single position in a random.org and whatever is at the top is what I have to choose to get rid of off on my team. So it could be the first line center, it could be the fourth line uh, grinder person, I, I don't exactly know. It's going to make it a little bit more interesting, especially if I get blown out, say if I lose 5 or 6 nothing. There will definitely be some very big changes to the team. And the final rule is, if I lose a game in overtime or shootout, which basically gives me an extra point in the division, I will uh, raise that buy now minimum by 500. I don't feel like it's necessarily a loss, but it's not necessarily a win either. I'm not going to raise the buy now minimum up by 1000 just for an overtime loss, right? Uh, but that is just about it for the rules. I'm going to be filling up the team with these two packs that I have purchased, uh, these two player premium packs. Alright, so here is the first pack. We get 12 items, 12 rare players, and that should be a total of 24 players altogether with both packs. So let's hope for something good. Alright, so here's the first one. You got 1.3 million pucks as well. But, here's the first one. So we got 12 players. Uh, Yannick Hansen, Mason Raymond, oh we got a goalie, Justin Peters, we got Colin Wilson, Yermer Yager, we got uh, Laner, two goalies, that's very nice, Nazim the Dream, Kadri, Conacher, Soderberg, Gallagher, Tanev, and Fisher. Alright, so this first pack, definitely a lot skilled players. Uh, I mean, a lot of skilled and fast players. This is going to be a very interesting team. Not too many superstars in that first pack, other than Yermer Yager maybe, but we're going into the second pack. Maybe we can get a Stanley Cup card right off the bat. And let's see what's in this pack. We got Valtteri Filpula. Alright, an 87 overall, which could lead the team a little bit. We got Teddy Purcell. We got Braden Shen. We got Andrew Ghetto, uh, Alex Hemsky, Ryan O'Reilly, uh, Bo Bennett, Alex Tangay. Uh, we got Cassian. We got Tarasenko, Johnson, and Truba. Some very sick players. Unfortunately, not many great ones like that are 88 or 89 plus, but these guys will definitely do. <sighs> All right, guys. So we're in a little bit of a dilemma. So. I'm not going to start some games just because I want to explain my reasoning. But first of all, our offense is filled out pretty nicely. Uh, this is definitely not the lines that are set in stone, but we did get 12 offense for our team. But the problem is we didn't pick up enough defenders. We got Jason Truba as well as Chris Tanev. 
And that is just about it for the defenders. So what I want you guys to do is to post in the comment box below some line suggestions for both offense and defense. And I will feature the top comments in the comment box below. You can pause the video and look at some of the players and maybe give me some line suggestions. I will also post a picture of some of the players that, are on, that were on the bench that did not exactly get a chance to add on to the team because both packs gave us 24 players and there's only 20 spots on the team. So you guys come up with a, the best line combo that we can make and post it in the comment box below and I will feature the top comments in the next video as well as I will give you guys credit for sure. So that is just about it for episode 1 of Hub Roulette. I really badly want to play a game, but as you can see, the team is just not ready, and I want your guys' input before I start. Like I said, post some comments of some line suggestions, and I will choose it for next episode, and hopefully I will put, put out a video on Tuesday or Wednesday for the next episode. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Okay, we got 200k, that's a solid amount. Conwall and Mike Ooh, that is a very good offer, I won't believe that.